Jay, the Thunder never led in this one, but they did tie it up with seven minutes there in the fourth quarter. How did you guys close this one out? Uh, we just stuck together as a team. We could have folded. We could have let the run keep on going, but, you know, JB did a good job getting us back into the game. Lamar, you know, he got us back into the defensive mindset and we held our own. What was JB able to do? I don't know what JB does, you know, I mean, that's self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> what about the pace that you guys played with? I know how important it was for you to play your game and not get caught up in the pace of the Thunder. Mm -hmm. We know if we play our game, we're able to beat anybody. If we play it to almost perfection, I don't think anybody can be perfect. We can go out there and score however many points we want, and that's what we didn't do that tonight, but we held our own. You mentioned Lamar already. Mm -hmm. What type of impact does he have on this group overall? I mean, obviously he came up with some huge defensive plays, hitting threes out there. Right, he was hitting threes tonight, going for the rebounds, grabbing defensive, offensive. But what people don't see is just his how he's talking to us on the court. You know, after every timeout, he's telling us we need to stop, we need to get our head in the game, we need to do whatever to get us going on the defensive end to get stops. Hey, it's one thing for either you or Evan to get going, but for both of you guys to have 20 plus. Point double doubles. Like, how much satisfaction for both of you to have that type of night? Uh, it, it's always fun. Uh, big men do a lot on the defensive end, so it's, it's good to see us, you know, get some points on the offensive end. And look, you played with Karis, like you told me at halftime, for quite some time. Right. But was it good to see him get going offensively both these games? Absolutely. Once Karis gets in his rhythm, he's hard to stop. And tonight was a perfect example of that. You know, he could get to the basket, he could dish out the assists, he did it all. Second half, second half did, was there more of an emphasis to get going kind of uh, on your part, sensing that they had like not as much size as you guys? Absolutely. Uh, I think they put Giddy on Evan, you know, and that was just a green light for Evan to attack. You know, don't be shy about it. Just go to the rim and go up. Here, what did you see from Evan, especially in the fourth quarter? Did he get like 10 points um, for you guys right off the bat? Just attack the rim relentlessly uh, on the offensive end. Nobody can stop him. You know, I think one play he took the ball coast to coast. That's just what he does. When he gets going, he's hard to stop. How are you guys learning um, to close out games and, and fight through when mm -hmm. teams, you know, tie it or anything, and then you guys being able to? Pull out a win. Yeah, we're still learning. I mean, it shouldn't have got to that point in the first place, uh, but we're still learning that we can't let it get to that point. We still got to play our game for the full 48. It's going to take a while. We need we need to learn how to do it, but we're getting there. Jared, how nice is it to play with a fellow big man who can pass as well as that? <laughs> uh, you know the famous saying, my favorite, uh, feed your local big man. You know, <laughs> and that's what we always do every night. We try to make sure we find each other in the post on uh, drop-offs, on anything we can do to get each other going.